Hello YouTube, this is Altoid back with a few more videos. And if you've watched the other three earlier videos, it was showing you how to make the overnight sensation crossovers. This will actually show you what I made. Um, <laughs> interesting enough, you just heard something go through my, my phone, through those Bluetooth speakers. So people have been very shocked with how big of a sound this is. It just fills the room, which is interesting because they're near field speakers. So they're not really supposed to fill a room. But for a Bluetooth boombox, I mean, they're fantastic. Um, let me kind of run you through uh, the parts that are used in this. You got two high uh woofers that will be in the link down below. We'll show you all the parts. You got two Dayton tweeters. In here is actually a separate box. So each one of these is their own separate compartment. It's almost like two separate speakers. And each speaker is ported. So let me turn this around for you, show you what's going on in the back. You can tell you got a port here, a port here. You have a volume, or I'm sorry, power on and off. You turn it off and on. Um, you have a 3.5 millimeter jack. That's like a headphone jack. So if you wanted to hook up like a an external unit, something that is not necessarily Bluetooth, you can. Um, here's a 3.5 millimeter cable. You just would plug it in here, and then plug in your other end to whatever device you have. Maybe you have a, a Google um, device like for Google Music or, or something of that nature, you could use that. I did create two latches on here that just holds on this back panel. If you remove this back panel, you'll see the rest of the inside. The rest of the inside has the amplifier, which is a Shure 2 by 15 watt. These are eight ohm speakers, so this really only gives about eight watts per channel. You could, you could uh, upgrade this to a a heavier duty amplifier if you want. These speakers will take about 25 watts uh, to 30 watts, actually 30 watts continuous. Um, so you could increase that if you wanted to. I didn't really find the need to. If you're going Bluetooth, it's not typically needed. Here's a Bluetooth, there's a Sure amplifier, Bluetooth, I'm sorry, device. And that's just hooked up to here. If you notice, it's hooked up to a pentometer. This up here is a volume control. You can turn it up and down and it will limit the volume. Uh, the crossovers are, are internal, so you won't see them. Did put a few feet on, which you, you can see if I lift it up, there's some rubber feet down there that just helps stabilize it from vibrations. And then of course the two, the two ports. Um, the impressions of this thing are unbelievable I have friends that come over and listen to this thing and their eyes will pop out of their sockets they are just so surprised by the sound or the amount of sound that comes through these so I would encourage you guys if you're looking for a Bluetooth boombox instead of buying a name brand like you probably have in the past do yourself a favor take a look at this it doesn't cost a lot to build all the parts and prices are are in that link below um, and stain it whatever color you want. I used oak, you don't have to use oak, you could use something else, you could use pine. Um, I did uh, uh, joints here, um, these are dovetail joints. I wanted it to look nice and also, but yeah, YouTube, I would definitely encourage you if you want something that looks nice and sounds great to build one of these.